Happy Sunday, friends. So today I am in my dining room getting everything ready to put together my tablescape for Easter. So I kind of wanted to show you what I did and all of the supplies that I'm using to put together my tablescape. Now, even though it's just going to be um, myself and Sean and the kids this year, just our immediate family, I still wanted to make it special. We're still going to do an Easter brunch with an Easter egg hunt and uh, just kind of a fun day for our kids. So I want to um, still continue with our tradition of setting our, um, our Easter table really fun and festive. So before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, subscribe to my channel, turn on that little notifications bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. All right, let's get started. So real quickly, I'm going to go over everything that I'm using in my tablescape. Now, a lot of the stuff is stuff that I've kind of DIY'd. I also have some stuff from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to show you the dishes I'm going to use, and then we'll put it all together, and we'll show you the final result at the end of this video. All right, so first of all, let's talk about the dishes that I'm going to use for my table setting. Now, these are dishes that I actually just remembered that I had. They were boxed up and I hadn't opened them since we moved um, almost what five years ago and I completely forgot that I had them we've been cleaning out our storage room downstairs and we found this box and these were in the box so I was so happy when I spotted them because these are my spring um, china I've had them for a long time I probably have had them for 10 years um, I used to have a service for eight I still I think I have most all of the pieces um, a couple of them broke along the way but I do have a service for four definitely so we're going to use the large dishes the the little saucers um, I have the little teacups which are so cute and then I have um, a little like dessert bowl as well as a little appetizer plate so those are the main dishes that I'm going to use I do want to mention any of the products that I can find um, that are very similar I will put links for in the description below and I'll also let you know if I've gotten things from the Dollar Tree all right, I do want to add another just classic light pink dish to my table setting. These I got from, um, I believe it was Home Goods last year. They're just a really pretty, soft, light pink, medium size plate. Um, they're more of like a luncheon plate. I only have four of them, but I'm going to use them in my table settings this time around as well. And then these tumblers I bought for Mother's Day last year. I think these also came from Home Goods. I loved the lilacs on them. I have shown these in a previous haul before, but these are actually a plastic tumbler, but they look like glass and these are perfect for juice or punch or anything like that. And since I'm going to use some lilacs in my decor, I thought these would be perfect as well. And I think the coloring goes really nicely with the um, dinnerware set that I have. Have. If I can find anything similar on um, Amazon, I will link those as well. All right, a few other little accent pieces. I love these candles from Dollar Tree. Now, I always buy um, these like matching sets if I can find like four or more of them at a time at my Dollar Tree I always pick them up so that I have them on hand. These are perfect um, This one right here is cozy flannel. This smells so good. I love the little Scalloped glass for a dollar each. These are so worth it. Um, the color is perfect with my um, color scheme that I'm going with. It's almost like a blue green color. So I'm going to use four of those. And then I also got these little pink, um, they almost are like a little milk glass style with these little knobs on it. And these came from the dollar store as well. I've had these for a couple of seasons, um, but they are just so cute. And again, the coloring is going to go perfect with the rest of my decor. So I have four of those. Um, I have a couple little Easter 
um, accent pieces, glass accent pieces that I will probably put like either candy in or little Easter eggs or something. And then I also have a pink glass candy dish bunny, um, which is so cute. And so I will definitely incorporate those in my table setting this year. We have these little treat sacks that I got from the Dollar Tree this year. They're these little burlap bags with the bunny ears. They are so cute. I have not seen these before, but there's a set of four for a dollar so they're perfect so I'm gonna kind of include these in my table setting and then I also have some napkins that I believe these came from Target this is the spritz luncheon napkin from Target and I think I bought these at after um, Easter last year at like a discounted price so I'm going to use those those are little Easter eggs and chicks and I love the, the pink color um, I'm going to use a table runner this year, and this is just another table runner that I got from Home Goods, and I've had this for years. But again, it goes perfectly with that kind of soft bluish gray, almost kind of like a soft teal color. Um, and it has this really nice little embroidery design on it, this little floral embroidery design. So I'll use that um, as a table runner. I have a couple of Easter baskets. These are just a white Easter basket with a, like an ivory liner. I have some wooden beads. Also, I have all of my little DIY Easter eggs that I did. And if you watched the first part of my tutorial on how we did these, um, I actually did a live stream on how we made um, some of these little Easter eggs. We did some decoupage Easter eggs, which came out so adorable. And I finished them up in a regular video that I'm not sure if that will be posted before this video or after but um, either way they will be posted very soon so um, be on the lookout for those videos um, or that video on how I did these little Easter eggs look at how cute this one is these are actually Pottery Barn um, photos um, the little bunny is actually from the Pottery Barn magazine or catalog and I used it as a decoupage on the front of the little Easter egg and I just love how they turned out Okay, so I have a couple of these baskets, and I believe these baskets came from Target a few years ago as well. And obviously, I'm just reusing a lot of the stuff that I've had. All of these fake chocolate bunnies, these are like fake wrapped chocolate bunnies, um, came from Home Goods a few years ago. Um, as you can see, they still have the price at the bottom, $5.99 for this one. I've actually had these for probably four or five years now. They hold up really well, but they look like chocolate bunnies. And they are this like little foil wrapped bunny. I have a few of them. I think they're just adorable to kind of incorporate with all of the other pieces that I have. And then I just have a handful of floral that we're going to be putting in a centerpiece. Um, I have some Dollar Tree lilacs. I also have some other pieces from the Dollar Tree. This one right here is like a little small Dollar Tree. I don't even know what this is. Just a little white flower. I have some um, cherry blossoms in here. I just went downstairs and picked out some random flowers that I have that are going to kind of incorporate all of these beautiful spring colors that I'm going to use. All right, quickly about my centerpiece, because I'm going to be doing a DIY for this centerpiece. This is going to be my centerpiece. Um, I have it set up how I'm going to set it up. However, it's not going to look like this because I'm going to be doing a custom paint um, on these all of these pieces. Now, all of these pieces are dollar store pieces. Um, here's a large dollar store vase. These are the new dollar store vases that I just saw that they had today. I actually went to the Dollar, um, Dollar Tree today to pick up a couple of um, like supplies for home and I saw that they had these new shaped vases there so I definitely grabbed one. I love that shape. It's a perfect size. We're going to be doing a paint on this to make it look a little bit more farmhouse. Um, they also have these which are so cute. I love the size of these. I love the little ribbed effect. And then... These are just some battery operated candles that I have had for a long time. And these again came from um, Home Goods. Um, here's another little vase from Dollar Tree. I love the shape of it. But we're going to be doing a whole little um, centerpiece that I'm going to be painting and DIYing. And I will do that in a separate video. Um, so. 
Anyhow, once that is done, this probably, I'm gonna do my table now and then I'll probably do this video after and finish that up and then we'll, there'll be two separate videos. So just stay tuned for both of them. decided to use an ivory place setting that I got from the Dollar Tree around Christmas time. It's the ivory one that has a little bit of gold in the, um, the threading. And Here is the place setting before I do any silverware or napkins or anything like that. Um, just really simple. We'll have a large plate, a small kind of like salad plate. Um, this is going to be like either an appetizer or dessert plate. Um, this will be a fruit bowl and then obviously like tea or coffee. Um, you know, Jameson's not going to be having that, but he might have hot chocolate and I like to just make it special and then a juice glass. And so I still need to put napkins and silverware in here, but that is the basic place setting that I'm going to do. So for the napkins, I am just going to put one napkin on the pink plate, kind of on a diagonal, and then I'll put my little appetizer plate on top, just like that. How adorable is that? All right, so the last thing that I have to do is incorporate the flowers, but the flowers are gonna be going into the centerpiece. So I need to work on that centerpiece and get that done. Um, but I will put a picture of the final product right at the end of this video so you can see how it all turned out. But make sure you stay tuned for the DIY on how I did this centerpiece. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on that little notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Hope you guys have fun decorating your table for Easter as well.